Hey beauties, it's Riri. Welcome back or welcome if you are new. I'm an over 40 lover of all things beauty and I love showcasing indie brands here on my channel. I also like to throw in some unboxings and some plus size fashion content. If that sounds like your cup of tea, please consider subscribing and give the video a thumbs up. We're diving right in. I'm going to be talking about the brand new Hourglass Holiday Edition of the Ambient Lighting Edit Palettes. I did opt for the Owl Palette. And then I went with palette or shade number three. The reason I chose shade three or palette number three, which I believe is the snake one if you buy that one separately and don't opt to put it in the owl palette. Um, I did that one because right now I'm pretty tan and because it had five new shades in it and none of the other ones had that many new shades. I am a fan of Hourglass products. I'm not like a full on stand. I don't have a massive collection, but I will show you these also up close. I love the hourglass formula especially I feel like for somebody like me if you have more dry textured skin more mature skin I just feel like they're so beautifully softly milled they look beautiful on the skin it's almost kind of this like a little bit of an ethereal type of glow um, and I also like that most of these in here have that little bit of a sheeniness or a glow to them if you don't like that you definitely don't want this. <laughs> um, but I'm super excited about this. And I may be heading into cooler months. It might be a little bit deep for me. But in that case, if you go in with a less is more approach and go in with fluffier, more open brushes, you can still use something like this. So I'm going to demo it. As you can see, I only have my eyes and my base and stuff done. And my eyes today are the brand new Gourmand Girls and Doodles by The Bunny, the Haunted Palette. This is their Halloween release. It will be launching on Friday, so just a couple days from now. And that is what it looks like. I did not film this look, but I am going to be doing a comparison with all three of the like trio palettes like this. But just FYI on that, that is what is on my eyes. This was $90. However, you can use code, I just use Babs Beauty. Most of those types of codes will work. And then of course, I opted for Afterpay. <laughs> Um, and I did skip out last year and I kicked myself in the ass because again, I really love the formula and how it performs and looks on my skin. And this just aesthetically, I thought it was so absolutely stunning. I love the beautiful neutral. I love the artwork here. And then here are our shades. And this is made in Italy with a 12 month shelf life. And I do have a couple of little shorts videos up so far. And as you can see, this one veers more towards kind of medium to tan skin. I will note, and I've said this multiple times, they have a beautiful formula, but I feel like they're quite repetitious in a lot of things, hence me getting the one with the most new shades. And I do not feel like they are aligned as far as these types of products that is very inclusive. They, in my opinion, should have gone even another shade higher than this or deeper than this. So I will do finger swatches really quickly for you guys. And then we are gonna put some of these on our face. So first up we have the Finishing Powder in Radiant Light, the Blush in Coral Haze, and then the Metallic Strobe Powder in Infinite Strobe Light. There's the Finishing Powder, the Blush, and then the Highlight. This for me, I think is maybe gonna be too deep even right now to be a highlight on me. So I'd use it as a blush topper and you could also use it as an eyeshadow. I mainly just wanted to kind of showcase this because of the new shades that are in here. And then there are swatches on my hand. Next up, we have the blush in Sunbeam, the blush in Mystic Flush, and the bronzer in Solar Bronze. And this new shade, the blush in Sunbeam, the more orangey one, which I'm gonna show you, oh, I'm ready to put that on my face. It's not really gonna match with what I have, but I wanna use it so badly. So there's Sunbeam, Mystic Flush, and then Solar Bronze Bronzer. And hopefully you can tell that these all have like a little bit of a sheen to them. Again, it's more of like a lit from within type of thing. It's not glittery, sparkly, too much, highlighty or anything like that. But I just wanna note that for you guys. So first I'm gonna go in with the Finishing Powder in Radiant Light. And you don't get, or at least I don't, I don't get a lot of kick up with these particular powders. And this obviously is not really gonna show up on my skin right now. And I like that this is a powder 
but it's not a super mattifying like cakey type powder you can still see a slight luminous quality again not glittery or anything like that next up i'm going to go with the bronzer i will note i like to typically use a massive like bronzer brush a really big one so you're not going to get in this with a big fluffy brush so i'm going to opt for this one right here this is from empress me i'm going to go into the bronzer I'm going to pick up just a tiny bit to start, and again, if this was a little bit too dark for you, you can opt to go in with an open fluffy brush, which this one is slightly more open and fluffy, so I don't think I'm going to pick up a ton of pigment here. Okay, yeah, I can definitely, now I'm going to go ahead and just kind of go in, <laughs> now that I know we'll be okay. Oh, pretty, pretty. And I hope that you can see what I'm talking about. Just about, how, it just has kind of this beautiful, soft, subtle, like ethereal glow from within type of thing. I just wish that they would switch it up some and extend their shade range. Okay, that is stunning. Next up, I'm actually going to go into the little highlight shade. I think it's going to be a little too deep for me, but again, I'm going in with a fluffy brush. I'm going to pick up a tiny bit. And actually, for right now, it's working. And how you'll know that is as I turn, if it's kind of casting a shadow, you'll know that it's a little bit too deep. Now, this one right here, obviously going into fall and winter, it is going to be too deep for me. And because I was unsure of how deep this was going to be, that is why I did this first. Because when I go in with my blush, it would have kind of diffused it if it was a little bit too deep. Now, as much as I would love to go into this fiery, peachy, corally shade, which is like my vibe, it's definitely not going to go with what um, I have on my eyes today. So I think I'm going to opt for this one right here. And that is the blush in Coral Haze. I'm going to again go in with a smaller, kind of more fluffy type brush, and I'm going to pick up just a little bit. Again, you get next to no fallout, and it does pick up well. Oh, that's pretty. Okay, that's stunning. And I don't own a whole lot of like more, you know, bougie luxe brands of makeup. Um, but the couple of palettes that I have gotten, I love. And I actually wanted the one from last year and I did not opt to get it. They do also give back on this. I don't know the whole deets. Um, but if you go to their Instagram, they do like 5% of the proceeds or something like that. But just to note that as well. Now I will show this to you one more time up close. And then I will show you comparisons based on the ones that I already have. Again, this was the darkest of, and this was the darkest of the choices. Again, I feel like if you have medium to tan skin, this would be perfection on you. I also have the Ambient Lighting Edit Mini, the Sculpture Unlocked. And the shades in this, the finishing powder is Soft Light. The bronzer is Golden Bronze Light. The blush is Mood Flush. And then the Metallic Strobe Powder is Champagne Strobe Light. And then I will show you this compared to the other. And obviously you can see here, they're not similar at all. So if you have something like this, then this is still something that's more new. And although they are newer shades, and although they are new shades, if you have something that's comparable, that's what I'm kind of trying to show you. And then I also have the Ambient Metallic Strobe Lighting Palette. This has Absolute Strobe Light, Pure Strobe Light, and Lucent Strobe Light. And as you can see, I've used this very, 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 very much. <laughs> So here's the highlights shade in this one versus these. And you can see here too the pan differences as well. I'm thrilled with this. I'm happy to have this. For me, not being a big collector and only having a couple of pieces, I knew that I wanted this. I knew this is one that I was going to love. So hopefully this is helpful to you in some kind of way. Um, I think it is absolutely stunning. Again, I really, really love the formula here. If you are somebody that you don't like that kind of luminous quality peeking through, then this is definitely not for you. Um, I feel like if you've been on the fence and you do especially have more dry, textured, mature skin, 
I think they're a beautiful, beautiful formula, especially for that. They're incredibly long wearing. I like that you can go in with a less is more approach, use a soft hand, use a fluffier brush, and you get a least and you get a lesser amount of pigment but then you can also go in and really punch it up and really build it up and I do actually want to showcase that I think I'm just gonna put some on my hand we'll go into the little peachy one that I wanted to try out so if I kind of go in here and I really pick some up you can see how deep that gets and then if I just wanted to go in with a really light hand I could also do that. So do you need this? No. Does anybody need anything? No. <laughs> I just wanted to showcase it. I know that a lot of people are curious about this particular one. And for me, I just wanted to spoil myself. This is, you know, my little Christmas present to myself, if you will. But the artwork, the packaging, I think is absolutely incredible. It's beautiful. I will note too, I've seen a couple of comments asking how big this was. If you have one of the smaller quads, it's honestly not much bigger than that. So a little bit of cons, if you don't like something that's a little bit if you don't like something that's got more luminosity to it, you're not going to like this. If you're somebody that you like to use big fluffy brushes, you're going to have a hard time because your shades are going to mix. Um, if you already love the Hourglass formula, these are beautiful. <laughs> They're just as beautiful as the couple that I already own. So that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for joining me. I love you beauties. Stay happy, healthy, and safe. And of course, be your own best beautiful. Bye beauties.